Here we go. Hot Wheels factory sealed case, middle of March 2014. H is the case code. You might see different codes from uh, the stores or whatnot, but this is the one that determines pretty much what the mix is. But you will have variables in an H case. Just because you find something in an H case at the store doesn't mean that it's in my H case here. I'm in a bad angle. I might have to move a light real quick here. Hang on. Oh, one of my lights went out. Anyways, let's see what we can see here. Got a little bit of a crunch. Oh, let's see. Phew! For a second, uh, I was hoping, man, please don't be the super. The car's been out for a couple mixes already. Let me see if I can move this light. Hold on. Might be a little better. Here we go. New casting 2014. I believe this was designed by Larry Wood. Here we have the new Screamliner. It's beautiful green. Glad that, glad that there's more than one because a man is going to love, love, love this green. What do you think about this new casting? They're, they, Mattel, they don't really have old cars in the mix right now. But they're coming up with these fantasy cars, which, in my opinion, they're meant to look like older cars, old classic cars. Mm, there was an article on Mattel's website. There you go, new for 2014. I don't remember. I don't remember if it said if it's supposed to be influenced by some type of uh, real car. Of course, Formulator and Shark Cruiser. New color for Shark Cruiser. He's been around a long time now. Not that color, just the car himself. Pretty nice graphics on the 10 Toyota Tundra. Fig rig. Oh, yeah. Race team fig rig. I like how they, look how they put the uh, dots like that. That's pretty cool. For you guys who don't know, if you're new, fig rig, you can get your Lego minifigures and you can stand them up on the, now I'm going to forget, posts, studs. I forgot. I was supposed to remember. I'm going to get yelled at again from the uh, fans. But right here on the back, you can see that uh, there's some positions that you can put your fig rig. I bought a couple, I, I bought a couple of the, what? what's out so far? Red and yellow for fig rig. This uh, race team blue, I'm going to buy extras for sure. Here we have Super Blitzen. 12 Camaro Z1 Concept. It says Speed Hunters on the side. I wonder if they're trying to, is this a need for the speed or are they trying to uh, fudge the uh, popularity of need for speed? Nope, it doesn't say anything about need for speed. No, I don't see anything. If you got a chance to see the movie, is this car in the movie? Because it definitely has a graphical style to where it's as if they're trying to uh, ride the wave. You know Mattel does that. They'll, they'll come close to the copyright, but uh, not quite go over the line. They've gone over the line in the past. Altered Eagle. I almost said Altered Space. Wow, look at the color on the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This, this is a very nice color. Very nice color. When you see it in person, you'll see. Right-hand drive. So it's not the U.S. Right side drive, right hand drive, is that correct? Hey, here's a new model, new for 2014. Maser, Mas, I almost said Maserati. Look at the spelling. Mastretta MXR. And down below, I'll look at this in a second. Down below we have a, a wheel variation for time tracker. In the last cases it had a different wheel. It was a black wheel, one of the black wheels. But in looking at this, it looks like it has glow-in-the-dark wheels and possibly a glow-in-the-dark interior right there night storm you can see on the card so the night storms they've been having a glow in the darks i'll put this one in front of the light in a minute and we'll check that out now let's go ahead and get an up close look at the mastretta mxr does it say anything on the back birthplace mexico city hmm. 
Specialty, high performance, lightweight sports car built and engineered completely in Mexico, boasting zero to 100 kilometers per hour in less than five seconds. It's fast, powerful, and built to move. Must be a real car. Should have a licensing on here saying. Mm, I don't see any licensing. Interesting. We'll have to check that out later. Cool car. Kind of looks a lot like uh, a car that was out just recently. Mm -mm -mm. You uh, UK people, you got the gold promo of that car. If it comes to me, I'll, I'll, I'll just blurt it out. Cool combi. People are picking them up. I'm on my Instagram account, I see people posting pictures of combis. And they have lots and lots of combis people are picking up. Haven't seen him in a little while. Quick and sick. That's what I was thinking of. This reminds me of quick and sick. This is not a night storm. It's an X racer, see through the body, pretty neat. It's got a gold interior, gold wind rims. Uh, nice presentation, pretty cool. Yep, yep, nice presentation. Good track car, you guys know. Oh yeah, speaking of which, oh here's uh, the third variation, not third variation. Here's another Star Trek vehicle, USS Vengeance. The other one, that it was just a recolor of the other one. So as far as I, I'm pretty sure that this is only the second actual model to come out for Star Trek. It's all right. I like having one of everything, but I won't, I won't be getting extras of that one for sure. Very good. Hey, the last code, I remember I only had one green Mustang phony car. There was only one in there. Turbo turret out before already and uh, Dodge Demon. This must be the uh, fourth case, third or fourth case for that car. There's a couple Star Trek vehicles of the Star Trek one. Hey, there's Quick and Sick in a new color. So now I can, uh, all I had to do was wait a few more seconds. Let me see how uh, bad I was. You know, uh, you know, similar. It doesn't have the roof. Kind of similar. This one has a uh, Quick and Sick has plastic headlights. And the new Mastretta MXR just had painted headlights. So similar, similar color. Almost the same color, actually, when you see it in person. Check it out. Tail lights on the new model here. Very good. Let's see. Street Nas. TV series Batmobile with that nice pinstriping. Circle tracker. Three left. Hey, this is a new model. New for 2014. Another bike. I wonder if it's going to wind up in the motorcycle series with the rider. Got bumblebee colors. Black and yellow. Interesting. My, my paint tap, my tampo might be misaligned. I don't know if it's supposed to be there, but can you see how it's not straight? If there's a second, I have to hold on to this because if there's a second one, I can compare. And a lot of you guys were talking about, hey, look. It's a uh, drone. It's a drone Dragon Blaster. Drone from the Acceleracers. That was pretty good. Made sense. Good comments, guys. Oh, yeah. So for track time, you can make a couple suggestions if you'd like to see somebody doing track time. Oh, no. I don't have another one to compare it to. Oh, well. Uh, track time for a couple models. Just a couple, please. All right. Um, if you suggest more than two. Bone Shaker's back. If you suggest more than two. Uh, I will disregard your request, okay? I tend to go by people who follow the rules. Cloud cutter, and people were noticing the text on the back behind. No, it's not a treasure hunt. It's because they have this new uh, thing here in the USA. You can win, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys seen them on the Hot Wheels packages already. Cloud cutter, great track car. Already been in a couple videos already, so. I'm not sure if I would do them again. This was in my uh, last track time video. Hey, great colors. Check out the colors on the Baja truck. Pretty wild, kind of a Team Hot Wheels style colors. Only two though, white, red, and black. Whereas the Team Hot Wheels, they were a higher dollar car, so they could afford to put more graphics on there. Another truck, Dodge Ram 1500. Looks pretty good. Alfa Romeo, 8C Competition, out again.
Yes. Glad to see this in more than one case code. See, there's the need for speed that I was talking about. Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. What do you think about this color before the uh, 13 Ford Mustang GT? The orange was kind of, eh, eh, not my thing. This silver's better. I don't remember if it had the same tempo, though. But the, the race team blue one, the first one. Oh, I don't know if it was the first one. The race team blue one was one of my favorites for that car there. Excellent track car, though. There's another Dodge Ram. Custom 69 Chevy pickup. I almost said Ford. You heard me too, huh? 2014 Corvette Stingray. Looking good. It's not new for 2014. When was this out? Did this come out in the... Uh, I don't even know if it was out already. It looks familiar. Did it come out at the end of the 2013 line? I'm not sure. Oh, now I get it. See this one here? Other people were showing this car showing up in their G cases. And then I didn't get it until my H case. Just the way it goes. And this is not a, a new model. This actually was in the color shifters line a couple years ago. So it went from color shifters. Now it's the end of the basics. Then we have the uh, Brazilian Dodge Charger. Wow, in the camera they look like different cars. There we go. Now it looks like the same car. Pretty cool. It's not going in the dark, I don't believe. Fright cars. We'll do the glow in the dark in a minute. Custom 12 Ford Mace thing was already out. 69 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Looks good. Put some rubber tires and that'd make a great that make a great adult car right there. Here we have a 2013 SRT Viper. Got a couple of them. And F1 Racer. Good track car. Let's take a look between the two, compare real quick. For the 2014 on top and the 2013 SRT Viper. It's not the same car, Mark. Hey, up. Uh, I was thinking of something else. Speed Shop the Vanster. Good track car. It's nice and big, too. Here we have the Twin Mill. If you're lucky, this is going to be the super treasure hunt in the H cases. Hey, look, we got some advertising. What is this? Team Hot Wheels, the origin of awesome. They must have uh, something going on. They got some kids show coming up. I don't see anything. Sure looks like it's kind of promoting a kids show. Or is, it, is there another uh, game, Hot Wheels game coming? So if you see this. And it has slightly different paint. It'll be hard to tell because the paint's almost the same. But you can tell it's a super because it'll have rubber tires. And as we look at this, you can just see a smooth black. This is not the uh, super. But uh, it would have been cool. Another green. Nope. That's been out already. Morris Mini. Welcome back. Is this the one that's a pop-off? Yeah, it's a pop-off. See that little switch right there? You can pop that switch. And then take the body off. If someone asks for that in track time, then uh, I'll, I'm, I'll demonstrate demonstrate that in the video. Lamborghini Aventador. I didn't do him in the last video, so it might be time for track time for him. But don't forget, you can suggest anything except for the trucks. Look, if it's trucks and motorcycles, I'm not going to put them on the track. So don't bother. Nope. Look, regular tires, no super. And that was the last case, I think. And BMW K. Okay, let me charge up. Uh, let me charge up these. This right here. Let me charge up this with the light, and I'll be right back. All right, it might have been hard for you to notice, but stock car. Yep, yeah, it's the basic treasure hunt. I did not get a super treasure hunt, which should have been the twin mill three. No, twin mill. Sorry. The green twin mill. If you get a super rubber tires, this is the basic treasure hunt stalker. You can see the red circle flame logo behind the tire on the fender that's stock car so you're going to want to keep your eye on this one if you got a kid who's a fan of uh, hot wheels maybe maybe you can get him a stock car so he can have his basic treasure hunt also i'm sure you guys already put comments because uh i didn't notice this till the end of the video figured out what this guy's for there was also some more guys in the package i'll make a separate video talking about these four but uh the kids already know i'll tell you that right now 
And last but not least, uh, the questions regarding the night storm, glow in the dark cars. You have the time tracker and cloud cutter on the left. You have the new tomb up on the right. Uh, the two on the left are official night storm. The one on the right, even though it looks white, does not glow in the dark. Only the night storm cars. You can see the glow in the dark wheels. And also, this one has a glow in the dark interior as well. So, uh, there you go. Get yourself a time tracker or a cloud cutter if you like glow in the dark wheels. I know when I was a kid, uh, I liked them. To be honest, I kind of still like them too. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.